The artist book we present here is made by the French artist Henri Chopin. Chopin was born in Paris in the early 1920s. His young life, defined by the Second World War, where he lost his two brothers, himself being deported to Germany. In the second half of the 20th century, he was an artistic jack of all trades, but probably best known as a practitioner of concrete and sound poetry. The book is entitled 29 November 1974, Portrait des Neufs, and was published in 1975 by Gisgranen, a Belgian publisher of sound and visual poetry. The thin book is of quarto size, has stapled binding that is not visible from the outside as the text block is glued inside the cover. The cover itself is black with bright red printing of author and title in handwritten script. Chopin created many graphic works on his typewriter. The typewriter poems, also known as Dactylo Poème, and this book contains some very elegant examples of this technique. The five typewriter poems are printed in red and black on semi-transparent paper. The associated text, in French, refers to the negotiations associated with the creation of a common market in Europe. In January 1973, three more European countries joined the six countries that already formed a common market five years before. The title, Portrait des Neuf, or Portrait of the Nine, refers to this historic event. Portrait de Neuf was published in an edition of 500 copies. Each copy was numbered and signed by the artist and the first 20 copies also come with an original artwork. Copies of the book are held in the collections of the Bibliothèque Nationale de France in Paris, the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Library of Congress in Washington. The theme of the book reflects Chopin's international regard. As an artist, he served as a binding figure between artists from many European countries, not in the least by publishing the classic audiovisual magazines Cinquième Saison and OU between 1958 and 1974, each issue containing recordings as well as texts, images, screen prints and multiples by an international group of artists. Chopin had a keen interest for the auditory and mechanical aspects of poetry and is probably best known for his pioneering body of recordings of his own voice using only basic recording equipment. These recordings were then manipulated to explore the limits of intelligibility. Chopin died in 2008.